What's going on guys? Kevin here, back with another video. Today I am going to be talking about the newest Fear of God athletics drop that happened during Christmas. I know it was just basically feels like it was just a few weeks ago when the very very first drop happened but Jerry Lorenzo decided to surprise all of us with the all white uh, pair of the basketball ones as well as the hoodie sweatpants as well as a few of his collaborative uh, items with St. Michael. That all dropped during Christmas Day. They had a few different selections across all of the product categories. So that ranged from athletics to the mainline fear of God. So today I'm gonna to be talking about the basketball one as well as the sweatpants that dropped with it. I decided to pass on the sweatshirts of both the St. Michael as well as the, the athletic sweatshirt. One, because I, Honestly, thought the like St. Michael sweatshirt was a great, great deal, um, but I personally would not have worn it just like at all. I wasn't a huge fan of the sold out that was on the back. If that didn't have it, then I would have considered it. Uh, the only one that I was considering was the jacket, but I already spent too much this holiday season, so I decided to pass on that. And then the athletics hoodie. Again, I just can't get around that scuba hood. I think it looks sick when the hood is not up, but with the hood up, it just it just really looks a bit weird. So today I'm gonna to be talking about what I thought were the two highlight items of the Christmas day, I guess, drop. So talking about the unboxing experience, the unboxing experience is just the same as the first drop where it is a double layered box. Outer layer has the size tag as well as the inner layer just has the Adidas Athletics box. Again, no extra accessories, just like the first Fear of God Athletics drop. Uh, this will only come with those space age sort of dust bags almost. Uh, and here the shoes are. The shoes are a bit more cream compared to the Basketball One Carbon, where the style code does specifically mention that it is a white. Now I do have here the shoes are. The shoes are really, really clean. Absolutely like, look at this. There were rumors that this was going to be a friends and family only, but I'm glad that it did drop in wider numbers. The upper is definitely more of like a white white with a slight hint of cream, while the bottoms are definitely a bit more yellowed. Compared to, compared to the carbon, you guys can kind of see the soles are relatively similar, but that carbon and the sesame toe is completely different from the white and cream of the upper of this one. I think this is super, super clean. Again, there were rumors that this was going to be a friends and family only as Jerry was gifting a few friends and family with pairs during the Art Basel uh, drop that they had, but I'm happy that it was released a bit more to the public. There was rumored to be a thousand, but then on drop day, I think there were somewhere in between 3,000 to 4,000 pairs that dropped. Soon after it dropped, it did sell out. Personally, I don't think it genuinely sold out. It dropped, there was a lot of stock available on their website, uh, like none of the sizes sold out. And somewhere midday of Christmas, they took everything off. The only item that I think genuinely sold out was the St. Michael. Uh, but again, like coming back to the shoe, it's the same no stitch TPU cover up here, same with the laminated sort of material here. Uh, it's a very, very clean design. Now like looking at it from the top down, it definitely has that more swoop down look. On the back has that classic Fear of God back plate. I know that this is very iconic, but I think it would have been extremely interesting and cool to see them kind of make it tonal. I think that would have made it super, super sleek and super almost like incognito. But I do know that this is a classic branding detail. And again, uh, no other accessories here. For the basketball one, sizing is a bit odd. If you guys didn't have a chance to check out my previous video where I reviewed all of the items from the drop one, at least for the footwear, please, I will leave a link in the description and put a card somewhere up here. But just a quick summary for the basketball sizing. Uh, if you have a normal to a narrow width foot, I would recommend sizing up half a size. If you have a wide foot or if you have very flat feet, I would personally recommend sizing up a full size. So I'm an eight to an eight and a half. But 
in this. I tried on an eight, it was really, really tight. I'm sure maybe I could have broken it in a little bit more, but it was really painful on both sides of my feet. So I ended up sizing up a full size. So I got this in a nine and a half. My carbons as well as a nine and a half. Something to keep in mind is that depending on what socks you wear, there can be a little bit of sock piling where it pulls down the sock. Uh, you can either alleviate this by wearing thicker socks or you can alleviate it by potentially sizing down a half. But again, the sizing of this shoe is a little bit odd. So just go with whatever you know your basketball size is. And if you don't, go with my recommendation where you size up half a size if you're normal to narrow width foot or size up a full size if you have flat feet or if you have really wide feet. So talking about the sweatpants, here they are. I will do an on body. So on the product photos on Fear of God's website, uh, they did make it seem more white, white, but in actuality, it's definitely more of a cream. I'm actually a really big fan of this just because the Adidas marking here is tonal. It's that same suede finish as well. I think it just looks really, really clean. I know a lot of people are a bit afraid uh, just because of the fact that it is a lighter color, so stains might happen. And that's just the case for uh, pants like these where it's a pair of sweats. They're not supposed to be treated extremely uh, like delicately, but they will serve whatever purpose that you'd want. I think this with the sesame will look crazy. I also think these with the white on white will look really, really nice as well. I do have the white mainline gloves that are coming in. Please do let me know if you guys are interested in a separate video for that, just because I was expecting the gloves to also come in with the full order. Unfortunately not. The gloves are something that I'm really, really excited about just because I don't have any gloves in, uh, I guess, my entire closet in general. And I thought those driving gloves were really, really sick. I wasn't a big fan of the gloves that he dropped with the Eternal collection. I thought those were a little bit weird, but with the soccer sort of uh, like driving gloves that they have that just released, I thought they were very, very sick. Hey guys, sorry about that. This is Kevin in post. I meant to mention uh, for those who haven't purchased the heavy fleece um, sweatpants or any of the heavy fleece materials, please do keep in mind that because it is a fleece material, not like a French Terry like they had on any of the main line, uh, like Fear of God's prior to uh, the, the Eternal line, uh, I would highly recommend that maybe you throw it in the dry or something like that just because they do uh, shed a lot. My black that I've been wearing pretty often has just been shedding like all over the house. So it is something to keep in mind. And if your pairs also do shed, don't be alarmed. That's just what happens with fleece materials once it's fresh and you just start wearing it. Not my favorite because it gets literally everywhere, but do keep that in mind. All right, see you guys. Hey, what's up guys? This is Kevin, just doing a quick side-by-side -side comparison in post because I did forget to do a little bit more detailed. So here is the triple white or the cream, the primarily white upper with a cream sole. And here is the carbon. I have been you guys can tell I have been putting in some uh, decent wear into these. Um, they definitely do break in a bit more during time, so keep that in mind. But they are quite different. The primary differences, at least from what I can see in terms of the sole, is that this one feels a little bit more transparent, the carbon. But I can't tell if that's just because the upper is black and it kind of like shows underneath, while this one it's white, so it kind of blends in. A little bit better. The carbon feels a little bit more transparent. In terms of the toe area, let me just show you guys. Toe area right there, uh, quite different as the white is definitely just like a white white. Everything is like flooded, tonal cream white, while the carbon, this definitely has more of like a blue gray tint to it, if that makes sense. Both of the uppers feel exactly the same. The only difference is really the color. The tips on both have that sort of soft touch finish. Same with the bungee cord is exactly the same. No differences whatsoever outside of just the color. There is the back tab, all the same. Just a definitely a cleaner colorway, I would say. So yeah, like let me know if you guys have any 
comments or questions regarding this drop. Did you guys end up picking anything up? Please do let me know. Let's get a dialogue going. And until next time, I will talk to you guys later. Peace.